Hi students, good morning to all of you. In the last class we have seen what is mean by biomass, different resources of biomass and classification of different biomass plants we have seen. So in this class we will see geothermal energy. In this class we will see so geothermal energy. The energy that is available inside the earth you can call as a geothermal energy. Geothermal energy. Now we can observe. Okay, this is the so diagram cross section of the earth. This is the cross section of the earth you can observe. Okay. So geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is the heat that originates from the core of the earth. From the core of the earth. Okay, that originates from the core of the earth, or from the center of the earth. At the core of the earth, you will have a temperature around 4000 degree centigrade. 4000 degree centigrade. So the energy that originates from the core of the earth, you can call as a geothermal energy, or you can say that the thermal or heat energy that is stored inside the earth, you can call as a geothermal energy. You can call it geothermal energy. Okay. Exactly at the core, you will have a temperature around 4000 degree centigrade. You will have a temperature around 4000 degree centigrade. Centigrade exactly at the center. At the exactly at the center. Okay. The combination of the heat occurs from the combination of two sources. Okay. How this much of huge amount of temperature is available at the center or core of the earth or core of the earth. Okay. The first reason will be. The original heat produced from the formation of earth by gravitational collapse. Okay, why it is okay? Earth is forming because of the collapse as heat will be generated. That is the first reason. Okay, and the second reason. Okay, so if nothing but gravitational collapse, you can say that. Why it is forming because of the gravitational collapse, the heat will be generated. And the second reason will be the heat produced by the radioactive decay of various isotopes. Radioactive decay of Various isotopes. Okay, so many isotopes will be there because of the radioactive decay of them. Okay, we will have a that huge amount of temperature will be available. Temperature will be available. Okay, the core is surrounded by a region called as mantle. The core is surrounded by a region called as a mantle, which consists of semi fluid material called magma, which consists of semi fluid material called as magma. Now you can observe here. Okay. So the surface of the earth, the surface of the earth, this one, you can call as a crust. You can call as a crust. Okay. So after 30 kilometers from the surface of the earth, the mantle region will be, okay. Yeah. okay. After if you move 30 kilometers depth, okay. So you will have a mantle region. Mantle region. In the mantle region, the temperature will be around 1000 degree centigrade. In the mantle region, the temperature will be around 1000 degree centigrade. So that you can observe. That you can. Okay. So, which will be called as a mantle region. Okay. In the mantle region, okay. So, you will have, if you keep on okay, moving, if you keep on moving in the mantle region, the temperature also keep on increasing. The temperature also Keep on increasing. If you keep on increasing 2900 kilometers to 5150 kilometers, which will be called as a outer core. Which will be called as a outer core you can have. Outer core region, you will have a mantle region. So the temperature, okay, in the mantle region at the surface you will have around 1000 degrees centigrade. If you keep on increasing, the temperature is also keep on increasing, keep on increasing. Okay. So, in between 2900 kilometers to 5150 kilometers, the region you can call as a outer core. The region you can call as a outer core. Okay, this will be outer core. After 5150 kilometers to at the knee point, at the center point, 637, 6370 kilometers, we have, we are calling as a inner core. Inner core. Okay. The temperature of inner core region will be around 4000 degree. Centigrade. Around it will be 4000 degree centigrade, and which is a very, very huge amount of temperature. If you can able to tap this temperature, you can able to generate electrical energy. You can able to generate electrical energy. 
So geothermal energy. First, okay, heat energy is available. By using that heat energy, you can produce the electrical energy. You can produce electrical energy. So the core is region is surrounded by mantle region. Mantle region. Okay, which is consisting of semi-fluid material called magma. Okay, so this is a semi-fluid material which you can call as a magma material. Magma material, semi. Okay, fluid material which you can call as a magma material. Magma material. The mantle is finally covered by the mantle is finally covered by the outermost layer known as crust. The outermost, okay, mantle or magma region will be covered by outermost region crust, which will have a length of 30 km. Length of 30 km is simply half. Okay, if you dig 30 km, 30 km later, we will get a mantle region. Mantle region inside the earth. Inside the earth, okay. The temperature in the crust increases with the depth rate of 30 degrees per kilometer. Okay, after 30 kilometer, okay, for one kilometer if you move, okay, so there is increment of 30 degrees centigrade of temperature. Likewise, we have, okay, there is increment of if you move, okay, so if you move, we will have a from the crust region, if you move, okay, to the mantle region. For every one kilometer, we have a 30 degrees temperature will be increased. Yes. The temperature at the base of the crust is about around 1000 degrees centigrade. That already we have seen. That already we have seen. Simply, you can say that you can conclude here that so inside the earth, inside the earth, there is a huge amount of temperature available because of the two regions. The first region will be already you have seen. Okay, gravitational collapses. While earth is forming, there is a gravitational collapses because of the gravitational collapses. The huge amount of heat will be available inside the earth. Huge amount of heat will be available inside the earth. And the second reason will be okay because of so many isotopes. Okay, so uranium like that, uranium like that will have. Okay, so uranium, germanium like that, different isotopes will be available because of the decay of that isotopes. You will have okay, so huge amount of it will be developed which will be stored inside the earth. These two are the regions to have, regions to have, okay. So high temperature is inside the earth, okay. So what are the different layers in the earth, inside the earth, okay. If, 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 okay? So up to 30 kilometers, from the surface to up to 30 kilometers, we, we can call as a crust region, crust region, okay. And okay, so at the surface, end of the end, end of the surface of the crust region, we have a temperature around thousand degrees centigrade. We have a temperature around thousand degree centigrade. After the crust region, we have a mantle region, which is consisting of a semi-liquid field, which is called as a magma material, which is which, okay, which, which you can call as a magma material. Which you can call as a magma material. Magma material. Likewise, okay. So you will have, you will have. Okay, mantle region which will be from 30 km, 0 to 2000, 30 kilometers to 2009 kilometers, you will have the mantle region. You will have the mantle region. Okay, after mantle region, 2900 kilometers to 5150 kilometers, you have a okay, outer core. Okay, here very very important thing will be from, from the outer surface of the crust. Okay, at the outer surface, we have exactly 1000 degrees centigrade. If you move for every one kilometer, the temperature will be rise to 30 degrees centigrade. Temperature will rise to 30 degrees like that. The temperature when you if you are moving from mantle region to outer core, and the temperature is keep on increasing, and at the final layer, the inner core region. This will be called as inner core region. In the inner core region, the temperature will be around 4000 degrees centigrade will be available. 4000 degree centigrade temperature will be available in the inner core, which will be 5150 kilometers to the 6370 kilometers. kilometers. Likewise, okay, so you will have the cross section of the earth and huge amount of geothermal energy will be available inside the earth. If you can able to tap it, if you can able to tap it, okay, you can produce the electrical energy. How from the geothermal energy, electrical energy will be produced that you can see now. That you can see now. Geothermal methods of harnessing the energy. How you can able to okay, tap the geothermal. Okay, what we, are, what we have seen till now is huge amount of temperatures are available inside the earth. Huge amount of temperatures are available inside the earth. How 
those temperatures can be tapped. What are the different methods that we are going to see now? That we are going to see now. Okay. So here you can see hydrothermal resources are there. Hydrothermal resources are there. In order to okay tap the hydrothermal okay resources, there will be okay two different methods are there. Two different methods are there. Okay. So first one will be vapor dominated or dry system. Vapor dominated or dry system. Liquid, liquid dominated or wet system. Hydrothermal resources. Okay. So generally hydrothermal by sending water, heat energy will be developed. Hydrothermal resources. Okay. Which so, way if the heat is more, you will get directly steam or vapor. Steam or vapor, which are called a okay, dry system or vapor dominant system. If the heat that is inside the earth is low, where we are sending the water, then it will be called as a mostly liquid nature will be there, which is called as a liquid dominated system. Liquid dominated system. Okay, liquid dominated at liquid dominated at a high temperatures above 175 degree. Okay, so likewise you will have. Next you will have single flash and double flash systems. Okay, inside liquid dominated system will have a single flash system and double flash system you will have. Double flash system you will Okay, so the second one will be geo present resources. Okay, you will have a hydrothermal resources and you will have a geo present resources, hot dry rock resources, and magma resources. Different resources from all these hydrothermal resources. Okay, so you will have geo geo present resources, hot dry rock resources, and magma resources. From all these resources, there is a different designs and okay, are they to tap the Okay, thermal or heat energy. To tap the thermal or heat energy. Okay, then 